you semi at this point, you got to decide how you're going to do this, or what are you going to do with this. How you're going to attach? Uh, how you're going to attach the skirt? Now these are some of the ones that I originally started making. I got a little flag. I just got a custom reflector. But if you can look, let me zoom in. I did this on the lathe. I went ahead and if you look, I cut a little back draft on it. And this is where I can go ahead and buy the skirts and attach the skirts and glue the skirts on here. Now, if you don't have a lathe, you won't be able to turn that. I have a metal lathe and I'll maybe show and I'll show part of that later where that goes on you know how I turn it on. If you can't do that, you're going to have to attach your skirt in the mold. And that's what the outfit showed you how to do. Now, let me get some skirts and I'll show you what that means. Alright, we're, we're going to set up, we're going to do this like they showed in the article that they had. Because they didn't get into turning it on the lathe. They actually what they want to have you do was, they had you, if you don't have access to the lathe, they had you attach the skirt right onto it there. Now, let me get some, all right, let's try, let's try this. These are the little squid with a little skirt on it. I'll go ahead and I snip the end. I'm going to have to probably snip the end a little bit more. There we go. I just want to get it to hold it on. Now, where's my mold? Yeah. This is what they showed of doing. Actually, you put it on and you just set it right in there number of other things they said they can do and, and we do it here uh, or, or things that I found this one we're going to do with feathers I'm going to try something with feathers but you can go ahead and I've used everything I want as big as paint brushes as I can take it off and I got here we'll leave that there maybe do something with that I'm going to paint brushes yeah, cheap Biggest paintbrush you can get here. Got that. The other thing I had, there's even some from bigger paintbrushes. Longer, different color. We'll keep that right there. Was, I went and I bought a broom. Nice green color. Went ahead. Cut off the ends of, of it. I mean, anything you can think of. You can use. Now, another good one I found was went to Tops. And Tops was selling these feather dusters. And guess what they had on it? Nice feathers. I got the yellow ones. Put those down there. And I had only, only two selections. They had the yellow dusters and uh, reddish, pinkish. So I got dusters. All right, let's go back out wide. So, all right, what it is we got? We got one set up, as they showed. Uh, you could, uh, anything imaginable. I'll show you how weird it got. Be, be, or what I got in, I, I, I bought different colored string. And I just cut up, the pad does an assortment of different colored screen string yellow and all this and I cut it to length and I put it in and, and I put it in there you could put anything on here again there, there, there's two ways I do this I do some with like feathers and some with the, the paint hair and string and, and every other combination on there where I cast it right in or I take it 
and after it's poured, I machine it and then put a skirt on it. Keep in mind, these are like a one-shot deal. Once you do this, that's all you can do with it. If, if you go ahead and can machine it, or know somebody with a lathe who can machine it back, then you can put different skirts on it. You can have all those different varieties. I bought a ton of skirts on eBay. All right. Uh, I don't know. We're, all right. Let's get into the pouring part. This we set over here. This we set there. This we set there. Uh, let's figure out what we're going to do here. I'll go ahead and I'm going to put feathers with, just so we know. Or we'll put some, some hair with this one. And with my pencil. We're going to go uh, brush. So I just so I know. We're going to put brush on that one. Uh, hey. We'll put this around here so we know what we're doing. Oh, we're going to put feathers on this one. And all the rest, we were just going to leave turned down. Uh, and I'll show you that. Any of these sizes, you can do the same thing. You can cover these with feathers. You can put a big skirt, attach it there, cast it on. Uh, you have your choice of what you can do. It. You let your imagination run wild on this. All right. Let me see how I do with resin. And we're going to pour these things. And then I'm going to go out for lunch with my wife. And we'll see how they come out later in the day. Now, for pouring. All right. Let me tell you. I'm gonna, let, me, let me show you what I'm, I'm getting together here. Got a similar 40 clear casting rib. Buy it from... Yours composites, compos, composites, but it's just clear casting resin. You can buy it anywhere. I get this here. For the rubber mold, I get me, I get a urethane mold. I tried some of the others and it, it didn't quite work out. Let's see how the urethane came out. Not that. The other thing I got here we're going to play with. Went to uh, Home Depot and I says, hey, I picked out a green that I wanted, which was sort of like a chartreuse and I says hey can you do me a favor I just want the tent and they were nice enough gave me a whole container of, of supposedly the green that that's the right tint so I got a container of tint I also we got a paint department at the hospital and I got you know I got a bright red tint I and these are just paint tints and what it is is you can put them in with the resin to change the color of the resin so you want to a green one. We're, we're going to put a little tint in one of these and see what, how it looks like because I'm, I'm curious to see how it how that comes out with. I got the tint, I got the resin. I get a lot of hardener. I go heavy on hardener. I mean I buy from that composites I mean you can get a 32 ounce or 20 ounce kind of thing. I, so, I mean I go heavy on hardener. Now in the magazine it, it, that I got this they talked about a little Dixie cup, I forgot what size it is. I don't know if it's a five ounce or whatever. But they, they talked about like ten drops in a cup. A Dixie cup full of resin. I go around twenty drops. I like it harder. Uh, so let's start out with that. Let's start out with that. Real easy. I mean a gallon of this casting resin to make you oodles of it. I got that. Come on. Whoop. Got another thing in there. Hi. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ah. I'm not a real good this isn't this isn't gonna kill it if it if it's too hard, too soft. You want to make sure you mix it up nice. Now, I'm going to decide which one I'm going to do a color with. You know what? I don't have any to do a color with. Hey, I got an extra one. What the heck? I got an extra rod. There. I want to see how the color is. Well, I don't even have. 
I don't even have a hole to put it in, but we could put it somewhere. Just by itself. I want to pour that one just to see how the color comes out by itself. All right. Now, mix up. Make sure the resin's mixed up nice. Let's do the oily ones first. And what that means is the ones that I'm just... Eh, let's mix it a little more. And what that means is the ones that I'm not going to do anything with. It's like here. I pour it in nice and slow to make sure it works its way all the way around. And you don't really want to trap any air in there, so you got to sort of move it around and watch you don't trap any bubbles underneath the head. And I got that one poured. This one's going to be funny. All right, here's this one with the, with the black in it. Pour that one in. Keep it tilted at an angle. Trying to make sure I don't get all of the bubbles. And I pour it up to the top. I don't... You know, let me pour this one. We weren't going to do anything with this one. Let's get all of these just pours first. And then I get into putting stuff in. But like I say, you, you can't have too much of your lid down in there. you got to make sure you get all the air out of there. And move it around. Come on, get in. There's nice bubbles coming up. I mean, the smaller, the less space you got around, the, the harder it's going to be for the bubbles to, to escape. All right, we got all the bubbles out of that one. Uh, coming in. All right. Now, uh, let's do the color. Let's do the color. Now, I found one thing out. With the tint, you don't want to use a lot of color. So I just dab a little bit in here, come in, and dab it around. Eh, that's a light green. You know, if you want to go, get another little swab here. Let's go a little darker. I want it darker. I mean, as, as you can see, it didn't take that. I just dipped the end of the thing in there. And I got that. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna pour that one just to see how the color comes out. Again, any color you want, you can use it with a reflector, without a reflector.